Margaret and I have been happily married for eight years. We live in a modest but cozy house in the suburbs of Chicago. I work as an auto mechanic to provide for us, and Margaret works part-time in a flower store. Her paycheck goes mostly to entertainment. Margaret comes from a wealthy family that has never approved of me. In particular, her mother, Helen, has always considered me inferior to Margaret. She thinks her daughter should have married a doctor or a lawyer, not a monkey like me. I have tried my best to change Helen's mind, but she remains cold and arrogant. She barely acknowledges me at family events. I know this hurts Margaret, who is constantly defending our marriage to her status-crazed mother. Helen recently turned 50 and decided to give herself the gift of a two-week trip to Turkey. My wife was delighted when her mother informed her that she had bought a plane ticket for Margaret as well. A trip abroad for the girls to socialize and experience new places was wonderful. I drove them to the airport and kissed Margaret goodbye. I asked her to take lots of pictures for me. She promised she would do it and told me she loved me. When they returned, I immediately sensed something was wrong. Margaret was aloof, no longer affectionate. She claimed she was just tired from the flight. But this went on for days and then weeks. Our personal lives came to a complete halt. Dinner conversations became strained. One evening, I came home early from work to grab a bite to eat. At that moment, I heard quiet voices in the kitchen. Helen was telling Margaret that she was capable of so much more than I was. That I was worthless just a mechanic who could never provide her with the lifestyle she deserved. I was furious, but remained silent as I entered the kitchen. Helen instantly switched to a syrupy sweet tone, cheerfully asking me about work, as if I hadn't heard what she really thought of me. I smiled forcefully and left the room. Sitting in the living room, I noticed Margaret's laptop open and her email open. A message appeared on the screen that made my heart drop into my stomach. It was a message from a man named Ramel from Turkey. He wrote that he missed her very much and long for her to be in his arms again. Numbly, I read their romantic correspondence. The trip was not about family ties. Margaret began an affair with Ramel and continued it via email. She even sent him nude photos of herself, which were for my eyes only. When Helen finally left, I approached with Margaret. I told her I knew about your relationship with Turk. She openly admitted that she was in love with Ramel. We had a big row. She said that I was a total wimp and worthless in bed, while her Turk was a stud. He owns three hotels in Turkey and is taking her in. He loves her and wants to marry her. Said her mother was right I was a simple mechanic, unworthy of her love. You ruined my whole life. That same evening, Marguerite packed her things. Before she walked out the door, she looked me in the eye and said she wanted a divorce. I was sick of living with a lowlife. I was devastated. The woman I had faithfully loved for eight years had betrayed me and ruined our marriage. I know her mother never thought I was good enough, but I never believed Margaret could hurt me like this. Now I was left completely alone my heart shattered into a million pieces. I soon learned that Margaret had flown to Turkey with her mother, having sold all the real estate beforehand. In Turkey, she married her new love, but the Turek was not so simple. He lied about being a hotel owner. He was just a simple hotel employee, a maintenance person. The money they had, they invested in the new husband's mephitic business. The business failed. When the money ran out, he told Margaret and her mother they needed to work and got them jobs at the hotel. They cleaned rooms for three months and then saved up money and came back. I was even told that Margaret's husband cheated on her with her mother. Now they rent a place 
in an inexpensive neighborhood and work as sales clerks.